All right, so in this problem, we are multiplying two decimals by one another. So we're going to use long multiplication. And when we multiply decimals, we're going to ignore them currently, and we're going to get back to them at the end of our problem. So let's start by multiplying our first column, our first number, 5, by all the numbers above. So we have 5 times 2, which is 10. I'm going to carry over the 1 and place the 0 in the 1's place. 5 times 1 is 1, plus, 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 1 above is 6. 5 times 1 is 5. Now we can erase the numbers that we carried over and move on to our next column, 3, and multiply by all the numbers above. And we're also going to place one placeholder under the 1's place because we moved one column over. So now we have 3 times 2, which is 6, 3 times 1, which is 3, and 3 times 1, which is also 3. And now we're going to multiply our last number, the 1, and we're going to place two placeholders this time. So now we have 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. So now all we have left to do is add all of our numbers up, and then we will place our decimal. So we have 0, 6 plus 6, which is 12. We're going to carry over the 1 and place the 2 below. 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 gives us 11. And now we have 1 plus 3 plus 1, which gives us 5. And this 1 is added by itself. So now we're going to place our decimal place by the amount of numbers we have after the decimals. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers after the decimal of the two numbers we multiplied. So now we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So our final answer is going to be 1.512.